Hello all, this is the second video of the initial setup. We're going to be going over the man hour matrix for open shop and prevailing wage and how it returns here, uh, how prevailing wage toggle works. And once again, that is shown on easy proposal in with this. We're also going to be going over markup, uh, tax in, tax out and energy surcharge. So. Uh, what you want to do is figure your install. Now this is, um, you know, already marked up. Uh, it's not what you're actually paying your employees. Everybody works with the already marked up number. So ask your senior estimator what you use. Generally, you guys are going to want the same number for all three, but I'm just demonstrating that you can change it. Uh, so you plug in your numbers for uh, open shop, prevailing wage, and then your transit percentage, I will get to that in a second. It goes, it starts here, goes all the way through the program and compiles all of your total install man hours, caulk, fab, transit, and total. Here's the monetary value. There's your total, uh, total labor. The idea of transit was initially created for a project that was very far away. Uh, so we wanted to add a percentage to figure that for travel basically you can use it for that of course in addition you can use it to create a buffer uh, for your labor um, if you're a little uncertain uncertain of your your uh, price you can just kind of add I'll just demonstrate here everything you know everything changes so the transit man hours goes up and the install stays the same because no actual man hours were added there's 15 bring it back to 10 um, I will come back to this in a second. Uh, I'm just going to go over markup, tax in, tax out, and energy surcharge. So, uh, on the individuals tab, this is basically where all of your material is figured. Here is your cost, which is brought over from here. It is then marked up by 30%. And then the idea of tax in and tax out is the following. Most companies are tax exempt. Make sure you talk to your accountant and your senior estimator about how this is applied. I wrote up a little bit of a thing in here showing what it actually figures. And also, if you're a junior estimator, please uh, read this. Uh, understand if you're tax exempt, understand if you have to apply a different amount of tax in a different uh, city, different state, under you know, all that kind of stuff. And it also extends to whether or not you're applying tax to the material uh, when you receive it. So what this is, is um, it's taking the cost and multiplying that by tax in of zero. I'm gonna put the 5% here just to show the change. And it's taking, okay, so it's taking 5% of one and 10% uh, of one plus 30 cents. So that's how that works. Um, so tax in is tax in the cost, tax out is tax in the cost and markup, and the material is just adding the three of them. All right. That's also known as your cell. Um, also, en energy surcharge, just quickly, it, it, um, like here's an example of energy surcharge is 10%. So you figure $9. I'll just do it here. So 10 plus 10% 10 is 11. Um, so that's, I'll get into other aspects of that, but that'll be changed, you know, whenever the energy surcharge changes, uh, maybe once, once or twice a year. Okay. So back to prevailing wage toggles, uh, generally you're going to be using not applicable. When I push this button, this will go blank. Uh, and if you're including prevailing wage, you would click this, but make sure that you copy these numbers over, right? Because you're, the program is looking at open shop numbers as your prevailing wage simply because they're included. So the total job here, obviously the labor goes into it from open shop. Understand that? Now, if you're going to use alt add, uh, you click here and then this number is what is copied over to your proposal through easy proposal. Now this number is arrived at by adding this, which is the senior estimator add, I'll show you that in a second, to this, which is what your, you know, the, the bulk of the price. So generally I would suggest not including fab and not including transit. 
uh, for your prevailing wage ad. They are only interested in the hours that are spent on site. So that's generally how you're going to want to do it. Um, now, uh, senior man hour, I like to show this a lot. The use of this is, you know, junior man hours, the program goes through and figures 52 man hours to install the brake metal, X, Y, Z, right? So junior man hours is, is what Easy Proposal, or I'm sorry, what Gloss SMR Pro is uh, establishing for your labor. Uh, this number will always be this number. So the use of senior man hours, say uh, shower doors is figured at 17 man hours and the senior estimator is checking the junior estimator's work and he believes that there should be 20 man hours. This will turn green. Obviously this will all turn green and then it'll show the difference. 3.5. Now these are rounded up to the next integer. So it's not necessarily going to be a uh, number, a even number. Um, so this is then applied to uh, the total job to put in those labor hours in the base bid basically. And then it's taking the prevailing wage, which is 170 plus 17. It's figuring in the transit. So it's uh, taking the difference of prevailing wage and open shop and adding it here, which is then added to here. I'll demonstrate uh, getting rid of it. Reset man hours will basically make it so uh, this column is equal to that. And also it'll highlight what it changed, right? So let's put it back. We'll go 20. Uh, and the add is 675,545. And I have that right here. So that's how it will show on prevailing wage. Just to go over this once again. Um, sorry, that didn't update. I, I did this before the video. The, the base bit is wrong. But anyway, um, uh, shop drawings and PE stamp are included because this is populated with a number. doesn't matter if that is populated. Mockups are an add because this is blank and this has a number. Testing is not applicable because none of them have a number. Prevailing wage is populated because this has a number, because this button is is uh, selected. If it's not, it wouldn't show that. It would show prevailing wage not applicable. Once again, if you do included, make sure you put those in and it'll read included. Thank you very much.